As a starting point, we have this chalk model and its migration, and this is where we'll be saving the videos. We have title, duration, embed HTML, thumbnail, and so on. Now, before you do anything, make sure you have a valid API key and that you've enabled the YouTube Data API in your Google Cloud dashboard. Now, let's open the terminal and create a new test using PHP Artisan make test YouTube talk test. Let's open the file. Remove this boilerplate and add a new test called it saves YouTube talk to database. To fetch the details of a YouTube video, we'll need the video ID. Then to store the details in the database, we'll need a talk model. Finally, we could have a new YouTube talk class that will receive the video ID in the constructor and then save the details into the talk model. Then for the assertions, since we are dealing with external data that may or may not change, we cannot rely on checking the exact values we'll get back. We'll just have to settle by checking that all the required columns have been filled. So we'll do this, assert not null, talk title. To make this faster, I'll go inside the migration file and grab the rest of the columns. Now here I'll do this, assert not null, talk. And now let's check these. The description can be null and so does the approved that column. But all the other ones are required. Now let's create the YouTube talk class. I'll go inside my models and say new file, YouTube talk.php. And then we'll have namespace app slash models and then class YouTube talk. Inside the constructor, we'll receive the ID of the video, which will be a string. And let's initialize the properties. And then we'll have a save method that will receive a talk model. So what should this save method do? It should make an API request, prepare the talk data, and then save it. We'll start by writing everything here, and then later on we'll see how we can refactor it into smaller methods. Let's make the API request. We'll do response equals HTTP, and we'll use the facade as JSON because we want a JSON response, get, and the URL we need to call is this one. And then as parameters, we need to send part. And this instructs YouTube on what kind of details we want back. And we want snippet, player, and content details. Then we need to send the video ID, which is this ID. And finally, our API key. Now the response object comes with a very handy JSON method we can call. Let's see what we get back. If we run the test, let's import the YouTube talk class first and run this test. We'll see that we get back an array of items. Now, since we've used an ID, this array will never have more than one item in it. Here we have the ID of the video. And under snippet, we have the published ad date, title, description. Down below, we have the thumbnails, the tags, but we don't need those. Then we have the content details where we have the duration of the video and the embed HTML, which is under player. Now let's move to our second part, which is start building the array we need to save the talk to our database. I can go inside the migration file and grab this one as well. Go back to our YouTube talk. And let's say we have a data array with all, all of these. The coolest part about this JSON method is that it also supports dot notation. So to get the title, we can do something like, let's look at the array first. And we have items, zero, snippet, and then title. So to get the title, we can do response, JSON, 
items of zero, snippet, and then title. For the duration, we can grab this, and then following along, we have item zero, and then content details duration. So we have item zero, content details, and duration. And I'll do the same for the rest of the fields, but let's speed this up. Now if I die and dump the data, remove this one right here and run the test, here it is, we have all the information. One problem is that the duration needs to be an integer representing the duration of the video in seconds, so we'll need to convert this. We'll use carbon interval, and then make, and then call the total seconds. And here it is. Another problem we have is regarding the thumbnails. If I die and dump the response, rerun the test, scroll down, we'll see that we have many different versions of the thumbnails. The problem is that for some videos, some thumbnails may not be available, so we'll have to extract a method that will return by default the standard thumbnail, otherwise it will go through this collection and return the image with the highest resolution. So let's do that. I'll go here and replace this with this thumbnail URL and pass in the response. And then we'll add the method. And here, if we have a standard URL, we'll return it. Otherwise, we'll collect all the thumbnails. And then we'll sort them descending by their width. Grab the first one and we should return the URL. But to make this, to make sure this doesn't blow up, we'll wrap this part in an optional call. Let's rerun the test. Remove this one right here, rerun. And there it is. Now that we have the required data, we, ca we can continue with saving the talk. We can do talk and then fill with this data and finally save. Let's rerun the test and it passes. Let's start refactoring this bad boy. If we take a look at this response, all we do is calling the JSON method to get the value for a specific key. So we can grab all this and put it in a JSON method on our object. So let's copy this and say private function json that will receive a key that may be null and then do this and return json response json and pass in the key now here we can remove this part and here we can say this json and if we scroll down to the thumbnail URL, we can remove this and replace it with this. Let's rerun the test and it still passes. Now, this looks a bit better, but we've introduced a new problem. Every time we are calling the JSON method, we are making a new HTTP request. To prevent this from happening, we can use a technique called memoization. The idea of this technique is to speed up function calls by storing the result of the initial function call and then return that result on any subsequent call of that function. So let's add the new response property to our class. We'll do private response, which will be an Illuminate HTTP client response, and then store the response of our HTTP request. We'll do this response, and then this response, 
And finally, to make this work, we'll need to check if we set the response. So if we set this response, then return this response JSON key. Otherwise, make the request and call the JSON method on the response object. To check this, let's add var dump here. And this should only be called once. Let's rerun the test. And here it is. One thing we need to take into account is that the YouTube API may go down. So let's protect against that. So we'll do if this response failed, we'll throw a new exception. We'll do throw new exception failed to fetch video details for and this ID. Then even if the request is successful, the data we get back may be invalid. So let's validate it. We'll do validator equals validator make. We'll pass it the data, this response JSON. And then to validate it, let's grab the keys from here. And the title is required, the duration is required, the embed HTML is required, the description doesn't need to be present, but the published at date does, so required, and it needs to be a valid date. And then we also need to check the thumbnails. And here we need to have at least one thumbnail. And now here we have if this response failed or validator fails. So now we're covered. Let's remove this call right here. And I think we can clean this up. And then save. And that's about it. Oh, uh, we can move these into the services config file. So here we can do config services YouTube. And let's say endpoint and grab this. Let's go to our services config add YouTube. Endpoint. And let's say we may have an env variable, so we'll do YouTube endpoint and set the default. We'll also have the secret, which is the API key. Let's rerun the test again, and it still passes. And that was it. That's how you can fetch and save the details of a YouTube video in your Laravel application. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that stuff. Bye.